Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Um, just wanted to say thank you for joining us on day two of our daily devotional. If you are new to this and you haven't watched yesterday's, go back, watch Caleb's. It's only five minutes long. And then once you're caught up, come back to today and then you can join us. Um, but for everyone else, I'm so glad that you've decided to uh, join us again. This is such a fun way for us all to connect and to um, just have some community, even if it's viral. So um, let's get to it. So today's devotional is about giving it to God. Um, there's so many lies about anxiety. Um, and one of the lies is that you have to deal with whatever that threat is. Um, as we learned yesterday, what Caleb said was, um, anxiety is your brain's self-defense tool. It sees a threat and tells your body what to do so you can survive. So anxiety is not always bad. But sometimes when you experience anxiety, even when the threat is imagined um, and not an actual life or death situation, but sometimes, um, like today, in our community and in our world and on the news and in the media, there's so much about um, COVID-19 and the coronavirus um, that sometimes it can be a little much um, for us when that's all we're hearing about. So um, when it comes to stuff like that, or, you know, our brain and our body tells us that something is wrong and that we have to fix it. The problem with anxiety and something that many of us experience is that um, there's not really a clear action to take. Um, like what can we do to actually make this feeling go away when we aren't sure where the threat is coming from? And I'm sure many of you, um, we know that there's a threat um, with COVID-19, but um, it seems to be that there's a lot of information out there um, and definitely a lot of things that aren't in our control. Um, but fortunately, when God designed anxiety, he saw the potential for us to get stuck in the way that we do. And he gave us some really clear instructions on what to do with it in the Bible. Um, in just a minute, we're going to read two passages in the Bible that are so clear on anxiety. Um, and here's the idea that they both give. Let God handle your anxiety. Go to God with him. Go to God with it. Tell him about it. You can even tell him that you're not really sure where it's coming from and you don't know what to do. But you have to start with bringing it to God and asking for his help. So let's just take a second and breathe and tell God that whatever you're experiencing, that he can handle it, okay? So just, God, I'm dealing with, and then whatever it is, and I'm going to you because you're the ruler and master of all. So when we do that, we're promised that God's peace will guard will guard both our hearts and our minds. It's interesting that the two parts of the body where we feel the sting of anxiety the most are the parts specifically mentioned in Philippians, which we're going to read about that later. Um, there are some practical steps you can take, things you can physically and mentally do that will really help with anxiety. Um, and we're going to be talking about the next few days as we go over this devotional. But the very first thing we need to do with anxiety is give it to God. We admit that we aren't in control of our lives um, or even the world around us, but we recognize that God is. We tell him what we're dealing with and we trust him to help us. So to begin this journey of anxiety, start today by just talking to God. We're going to read the passages next. And then um, I want to encourage you just to lay it all out for God. Um, tell him what's been going on. Ask him for his help. Ask him for the peace that he's promised us. And for the rest of the day, whenever you feel anxiety starting to creep up, go right back to God and repeat the process again. Um, so we're going to read two passages. Um, the first one is 1 Peter 5, 7. And it says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And the second one is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. And I'm sure you've heard this multiple times, but I feel like with anxiety in particular, um, this is a good verse just to um, have, memorize, make it on um, the background on your phone, um, just really going through it every single day, um, especially when you feel anxious. So it says, um, don't be anxious about anything, 
but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So let's pray real quick, and then um, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day three. So let's get to it. Um, dear Lord, thank you so much um, for just the wisdom that you've given us, um, just the power that you've displayed, um, knowing that you're stronger than any anxiety that we can face, um, knowing that anything that we could fear and anything that could um, destroy our minds, Lord, um, with just how scared we are, Lord, that you are more powerful than anything um, and anyone and any sickness and any disease, Lord. And we pray that as we bring to you our fears um, and our worries, that you would just help diminish them one by one. And um, we would remember your power um, and your might, Lord, and that you are ruler over all, Lord. Um, you are in control. And I just pray that you would bring um, a peace about us and you would just really um, show us your love uh, and your kindness through um, the ways we get to communicate with people and the ways that we get um, to explain to you our worries, our worries and our fears through anxiety, Lord. So thank you so much for listening to us. Um, thank you for who you are and um, thank you for your word um, and the scripture that you've given us uh, to bring us peace and understanding. We love you so much. In your precious name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.